Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Napoleon Total, and today I'm back with another Enlisted episode, and today we're going to be doing a guide on the Daimler Mark II, a British tank and Enlisted. This video will cover the weapon, and in this case vehicle, its history, and how you should use said vehicle in Enlisted. So without further ado, let's get started, but obviously this video has been made possible for friends at Discord, meaning that if you haven't liked, subscribe, or join the Discord, I highly suggest that you do that. But that said, let's get started with the Daimler Mark II. The Daimler Armored Car was a parallel development of the Daimler Dingo Scout Car, a small armored vehicle net for scouting and liaison roles. It was another Brighampton small arms design, a larger version designed on the same layout as the Dingo fitted on the same similar turret of the Mark VII light tank, and a more powerful engine. Like the Scout Car, it incorporates some of the most advanced design concepts of the time and considered one of the best British armored fighting vehicles of the Second World War. The 95 engine was at the rear limit of the fueled flywheel to a Woodson suspension gearbox and then an H-drive impairment to the propulsion to the wheel, and four wheels were steering similar to each models of the Scout Car was considered but not implemented following experiences with the Dingo. The prototype has been produced in 1939, but problems with the transmission caused by the weight of the vehicle delayed service until entry in mid 1941. The Daimler company built around 2,694 of these armored cars. The Daimler had a full independent suspension system and four drive wheels. Epic cycling gearing in the wheeled hubs enabled an early ratio in bottom gear. It was credited for managing 1 to 2 inches, and these rugged nature combined with the reliability made it ideal for reconnaissance and escort works. The variant of the turret and the two pounder gun were also based on the light tank, the Tetrak. And the Daimler saw action in North Africa with the 11 Hazars and the Delvoyer Yeomanry. It was also used in Europe and a few vehicles reached the Southeast Asia Theater. And a typical late war wreck troop in the Northwest Europe would have two Daimler cars and two Daimler Dingo Scout cars. The British Indian Army Armored Regiment, the 16th Flight Cavalry, was also formed on the part of the 14th Army troops, which were also equipped with Daimler and served in the reconquest of Burma. To improve their gun performance, some Daimlers in the European Theater had two pounders fitted with Little John adapters, which worked on the sneezing bore principle, and this increased the gun's theoretical armor penetration, which allowed to penetrate the side and rear of some German armored tanks. Daimlers were used by the territory units of the British Army until 1960, outlasting and planned replacement for the Coventry Armored Car. This was still being used along with the Daimler by the B Squadron, the Elam Fazars of the Northern Ireland as late of 1960. As the Indian Regiment, the 63rd Cavalry was raised by the Honorable Armored Cars in its squadron. This squadron was later hive off as an independent reconnaissance squadron as, as the integral squadron re raised by the Daimlers. In the early 60s, Humbers and the Daimlers of the Indian Army formed the mounts of the President's bodyguard and were deployed on the defense of Kusul during the 1926 Sino Indian War. The Mark II had an improved turret modification gun mount and improved radiator, drive escape hatch incorporated into the roof, and a WP grenade confilled with its turret for smoke generation. That said, this is the history of the Daimler. Let's move on. The stats. In terms of the statistics, the Daimler Mark II is a British armored car and that continues to serve until the 1950s. It has a crew of three, a 40mm two pounder gun with 52 rounds, a 7.92 BESA machine gun with 1,350 rounds, a maximum speed of 79.98, a whole armor of 14, side armor of 10, 14 in the back, 14 on the bottom, a turret armor of 16. Side of 14, back of 10, and top of 4 millimeters. Engine power of 81 HP at 360 RPM, weight of 7.6, and that is for the Daimler. Now let's move on to the recap section. To recap, the Daimler is a very fast tank, and that is the main selling point. The gun is the same on the 813, and the the machine gun is slightly better, albeit you can argue the machine gun is the same. For one, the speed is faster than the 813, it is an armored vehicle and it is an armored car, so meaning that on roads and anything else, this thing is going to be quite fast. That speed comes with a reduction, a massive reduction as a matter of fact, and armor. The 813 has armor, whereas the Daimler basically can be penetrated anywhere that you shoot on the thing, and that is going to be the main issue. Another thing is that the Daimler has a very good cannon, albeit this is the exact same on the 813 once again. The cannon is very quick firing like the 813, but it doesn't have a lot of penetration or a lot of HP damage, which is also a big issue. And finally, the Daimler has a slightly better machine gun. It is the BESA machine gun, whereas the 813 has a different variant. It is actually the 
7.7 Vickers machine gun, so the Daimler has slightly a better gun with, what, 0.92 millimeters more armor, uh, but <laughs> armor pen, uh, in terms of millimeters, but that is it for the Daimler. It's a pretty good tank, an all-rounder, very, very fast. As a matter of fact, you can use this actually like a scout car or as a troop transport. As a matter of fact, I've known some people who use the Daimler drive into the battle, unload their troops off the point, and use the tankers as normal infantry. And yes, the Daimler has a gun, and yes, you're using it pretty much like an AFV, but that is the Daimler for you. The main point is don't get hit by anything and just run around the battlefield doing anything. Once again, like I said, don't get hit by anything. If you get hit, you're gonna get killed. But that's it, this is the Daimler, a very, very fast tank, and in some regards, it's actually a downgrade from the 813. But that's it, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one. Now before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I will be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out, so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.